Are you in bra hell? Gone to a store and nothing fits? Bought and returned dozens of online orders? Always on the lookout for a bra that actually does its job? Bra shopping is difficult. Let's get into it. Full disclosure, Understance is a bra company. We sell bras. We'll plug our brand at the end, but this video is really about the bra industry and its issues. Why does bra shopping suck? Reason number one, the sizes. Off the top of your head, how many bra sizes does it take to fit something like 98% of the bra wearing population? 20? 30? Maybe 50? Before we get to the answer, let's look at the number of sizes it takes to correctly fit a t-shirt and shoes. For t-shirts, you have about 12 sizes. For shoes, counting half sizes, you have about 20 sizes. Now bras. In order to fit most of the population, you need to have double A to O cups, 26 to 56 bands. This makes for 240 sizes altogether, which is 10 times more than the next most complicated category. Don't believe us? We have fitted 30K, 28A, 40M, and 50C. Even if we took these sizes as the corners of the size chart, it would still make for 182 sizes. Can there be fewer bra sizes? We tried developing one size fits two or one size fits three styles and they worked to an extent. You can get away with more ambiguous sizing in wireless, relatively unstructured bras. But for underwire bras that are meant to fit closely, one size only fits one. Reason number two. The shapes. How many breast shapes can you name? Can you think of anything other than big, small, perky, saggy? Well, breasts come in many, many beautiful shapes. They can be close together or spaced far apart. Breast roots can be wide or narrow. They can be shallow or projected. They can be full on bottom, full on top, or both. They can be fluffy or dense, relaxed or self-supporting. They can start low or high on the chest. Your rib cage can be V-shaped, A-shaped, or H-shaped. The shape of your breasts has a huge impact on fit. Think shape match is a nice to have, but not a must have. Let's look at two examples. Here are two people with the same measurements who wear the same size. The only difference is person A has side set breasts, while person B has center set breasts. If they both wear a narrow bra, the underwire will sit on person A's breast tissue causing pain. The cups will gap in the middle. And no matter what size they wear in that style, the issues cannot be fixed. But on person B, a narrow bra will fit quite well. Let's look at another pair of people who share the same measurements in size. Person A has a short torso with barely any space between their bra band level and armpit. Person B has a long torso with lots of room between their bra band level and armpit. When they wear a bra with a tall underwire that goes up high on the sides, person A will have a miserable time. The wire will poke into their armpit and they will be reminded of this every minute they have the bra on. Person B, on the other hand, will get a great fit. For how much shape matters, information about it is hard to come by. You don't typically get this from bra retailers' websites. When you go into a specialty store to get fitted, you get the bras, but not the knowledge. Reason number three, the misinformation. Now you know bras come in at least 240 sizes and many different shapes. Can things get more chaotic? Apparently yes. Not only is information about bra sizing and shape hard to come by, misinformation is also rampant. You got the A, the B, the C, the D. That's the biggest. Pop culture tells us A cup is flat, B is small, C is average, and D is huge. Double D is as big as it gets. It even insinuates that anything bigger than a double D must be fake. Side note, the average size we sell is 36 triple D. Now picture triple D boobs. Is it closer to this or this? Most of you probably picked the first photo. Actually, both models wear triple D. One wears a 36 band and the other wears a 30 band. The thing they have in common is both of their bust measurements are about six inches bigger than their under bust measurement. Bra sizing is unique in that it's two-dimensional. There's a number and a letter. The number stands for how tight the band is on your ribcage. This part is static. Some brands fit tighter, some looser, but a 34 is more or less the same across the board. The letter component of the bra size stands for the volume of the bra cups. 
This part is not static. It changes depending on what number it's coupled with. 34D, 36C, 38B, 40A, and 42AA, they're all the same breast volume, about 590 cubic centimeters, or cc's. A 34D, 36D, 38D, 40D, and 42D, all different breast volumes, each size roughly 120 cc's bigger than the previous one. The idea that double D equals huge makes a lot of smaller chested people think they're 34As, while really they should be wearing 30Ds. It also makes a lot of bigger chested people think they can't possibly be bigger than a 38 double D, while really they should be wearing a 34G. Reason number four, the stores. Most big box stores carry a much smaller size range than the 26 to 56 band double A to O cup full run. You'll likely find something like 32 to 40 bands, 8 to triple D cups at your local mall. This makes for 30 sizes, or only about 12.5% of the sizes that people actually need. If your true size is a 34H and the best your local big box store can do is a triple D, you'll most likely walk out with a 38 triple D. It's the only option to keep your breasts contained in the cups, but the band will be hovering 2 inches away from your body. This will give you shoulder and back pain, and the shoulder straps will keep falling off throughout the day. But the 34H will keep you contained and supported. This is because 80% of the support in a bra comes from the band. The straps in the cups are mostly there to keep things in place. If your version of comfort involves lifting your breasts up away from your stomach, a snug band is your friend. A 38 band will hover loosely around someone who should be wearing a 34, providing no support whatsoever. Why would bra retailers willingly ignore the needs of many potential customers? To answer this question, imagine running a mattress store versus running a grocery store. The mattress store has 20 mattresses, each available in twin, full, king, and queen. The grocery store has many different types of fruits, vegetables, packaged foods, beverages, household cleaners, and pharmacy goods. Which store is easier to run? The obvious answer is the mattress store. You only need to keep an eye on 80 or so distinct products, reorder things that run out, and put slow-moving products on sale. In comparison, a typical grocery store has somewhere between 15,000 to 60,000 distinct products. It's much harder to keep things in stock and make sure they don't rot away in the warehouse when you have tens of thousands of unique products to keep track of. Running a bra store with limited sizes is like running the mattress store. Running the perfect bra store with every size is like running the grocery store. It's possible and, in fact, easier to run a profitable bra company with reduced sizes, and a lot of people do. It cuts costs to simplify your business, and it's easier to scale up a simple business instead of a messy, complicated one. A solution. At Understance, we know that running a good bra company is hard, messy, and chaotic, but we also believe it's worthwhile. Behind each rare size is a human, who deserves comfort and support as much as everyone else. We sold our first bra on June 23rd, 2021, carrying about 30 sizes. In the two and a half years since, we've expanded to 114 sizes, the largest selection by a single brand in North America. We aim to expand to 148 sizes, up to US N cup, by mid-2024. To help you find your size, we have an adaptive size calculator that uses a different algorithm for each size range. To help you find your shape match, we include a lot of detailed information on our product pages, including who it's for and who it's not for. We also have detailed filter options where you can choose bras based on shape attributes like underwire width and projection level. Not sure what it all means? Our bra anatomy and blog pages will teach you everything you need to know. If you're still unsure, we offer free virtual fittings to help you figure out your size and your best bra match. In case you get it wrong, we offer free returns. We don't want to push as many bras on our customers as we can. We want you to wear something that fits well and feels good. If you've been on a never-ending bra odyssey, head over to understands.com. Your bra journey might just end there.